Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, as usual uh, the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system. In this uh, project I'm going to add a new controller that is the groups controller. So uh, first of all add some libraries in a groups controller that is a private read only I uh, I group service equals to underscore group service private read only I student service underscore student service so uh, in the groups I mean to say that class a student uh, enrolled in a class so just initialize both uh, services in your constructor and group I mean to say that class and student so student and the class is the relationship so just add two services at here and uh, all these classes uh, get in the index method so underscore group service dot get all groups and in which you can pass page number and the page size okay that is the first uh, method related to the class and uh, you can say that the groups and the second action method is related to create a new class in the uh, in your uh, school as well as uh, in your uh, college okay so you know as usual you know how the create behave uh, the first is the action method that is get and the second is uh, is that uh, the post action method of the create group view model Okay, so um, asynchronous task i x and result create if model state dot is valid. If the model state is valid, then what? Then a group view model dot oops, not there. So first of all check in the group okay we have a ID pro a user ID is the is that there so just add a user ID is one and await group services dot add a group async group view model return redirect to action name of index okay so return group view model that is so in the group view model I mean to say that a, a class is created by the admin only so just add a user ID at here that is the one okay so uh, no one uh, nobody you can say that uh, no student and as well as the teacher can add in the class so just add a new class by the user id uh, which is assigned by one that is the admin okay so the next thing is to add details and in which in the detail method we you can pass groups id groups id is related to the uh, class id you can say so just get the uh, get all these classes that that is mentioned in the uh, database by using group services dot get by id convert dot to integer 32 groups id and uh, all these classes are uh, get it uh, get it from the database and pass to the model if model dot student checklist what is the student checklist that is getting from the all students uh, by using student service dot get all students dot select new student checkbox list view model and in which you can add uh, id property and the uh, name property of the student 
you can use a select list also at here name a dot name selected equals to a dot groups oops a dot groups id is double equals to convert to integer 32 and there is the group id dot to list okay so return view that that is the model okay the next thing is to http post action method and in which you can add the new thing that is public i action result detail section method of the um, of that uh, thing so a uh, group view model dot group view model if anyone changes in the class uh, or you can say that student is migrate from the uh, first class to the second class so just you can use uh, at here that is the http post action method of the detail so student services suppose any one student uh, can check uh, or you can say that migrate a upper class so just uh, submit that request to the post in the post action method so uh, http post details at, at here so group view model is uh, totally get it from uh, the get action method so just result is that is the type of the boolean student service dot set groups id to the student if result is true then redirect to action that is details and new is the id property group id property you can say but it is not get it from here it's a anonymous types id property so id equals to group id it's not there group view model dot id written view and in the view section you can pass a group view model just copy that and paste it here okay because in the get section method we have to use group id property as parameter so just you can use it here so add a new con uh, controller uh, that is uh, related to the exams so just create a new controller oops actually controller is uh, not assigned in the uh, root section just add in the controllers folder so mvc controller and you can add a new controller that is exams controller okay add new controller empty controller and exams controller okay and in the exams is related to the student also and so make a uh, private property uh, of the exams related so exam service is called first of all i exam service underscore exam service and initialize these properties in the constructor also you know very well because these are the dependency injections rules to initialize these property in the constructor so the next thing is exam uh, for that is related to the group service so you can use it here i group service and group is related to the student so uh, class is mentioned it here and both properties are initialized in the constructor so the first thing is to uh, as usual the page number and the page size and uh, get all these exams in this uh, controller so we just add int page number equals to 1 integer page size is equals to 10 exam service dot get all and in which you can pass page number as well as page size
public the next thing is to add it here that is the create action method variable model equals to new exam view model model dot group list and what is the group list uh, just get it from exam service dot oops okay 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 not actually group service is related to the group list so jo, just add a group service okay oops underscore is not there first of all make a simple things to add a underscore for the private variable to learn uh, uh, to understand that uh, these types of things easily so get all groups and return view in which you can pass the model http post and paste it here create asynchronous types and task exam view model if model state dot is valid as usual you know the about the create uh, get and the post method await exam service oops underscore exam service dot add async you can add a new exam in the service that is the exam view uh, exam view model written uh, redirect to action and uh, in which you can pass that uh, name of index action method okay so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which are related to online examination system and uh, i will show you uh, uh, the results of uh, online online examination system and uh, and all these projects code so return view exam view model in the last section thank you very much for watching